Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade, or Fly Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho, and today's date is April 5th, 2011. So, right now I'm just going to go ahead and review the gold market, talk about some silver mar the silver market, and review the dollar in correlation to it, and of course go over some gold and silver stocks. So, let's get to it. Dollar is resuming its upwards trend. It has been able to keep on holding on to this key trend line area. Um, it's no surprise, as you guys can go ahead and see, it touches it once, twice, third time, and yeah, it just keeps on holding on to it. So, no surprise there. Let's go ahead and review the gold market. Gold market weakens. No surprise if you guys go ahead and look. 4 a.m. to 4:15 a.m. Gold gaps lower. 4 a.m dollar continues a little higher so yeah you know what gold and silver obviously they, they correlate to each other in inverse uh, ways um, if the dollar index is able to hold out to this trend line chances are the gold market could continue going lower on this downwards trend right here lower lows lower highs so clearly obvious that we're doing with the, dealing with somewhat of a downtrend intraday now, if you go ahead and look back to the longer term chart, uh, gold is experiencing trouble break breaking this 1,440 area. So, a pullback uh, is probably in the books as the dollar strengthens. So, you know, you just want to watch that. Stay away from gold stocks and, uh, you know, avoid them at least for uh, Wednesday. Not Wednesday, I mean Tuesday's trading session. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind when trading gold stocks. If uh, the dollar index uh, breaks below this trend line, however, <coughs> gold stocks would obviously go higher, and along with gold as well. So just you just got to watch this trend line very closely. Also, let's go ahead and review the silver market. Silver, it's a little weak. Um, the dollar index does go higher uh, throughout 4 a.m. and at the and the, between 3:55 and 4 a.m. Silver takes somewhat of a fall, and um, however, mo throughout Monday, silver has continued its upwards trend. If you guys go ahead and look to the three-month chart, you guys will notice that on uh, uh, Tuesday's shank session, however, is that whatever the case is, is that we're having a negative trend, um, and I don't know if it will hold on or continue that way. It depends on whether or not the dollar index does go higher. If it does, it doesn't mean that you should short silver, but rather you should just look for another re-entry until the dollar index uh, continues falling like it's falling again. But for right now, the dollar index will most likely continue its upwards trend, and uh, silver will probably have a minor pullback, but it won't be too severe, as we will see the dollar index eventually uh, continue going lower later on. So, again, today's trading session, I would avoid buying silver. And I would uh, and I would also avoid uh, buying silver stocks. Rather, I would look for different sectors to trade, at least on a Tuesday. So, um, right now, I'd be looking for bargain hunting opportunities. If we go ahead and look at new gold, new gold did gap substantially lower, and uh, you know this gap area will be a key area of resistance much later on in the future. But we'll go over that once we get to that bridge. Uh, but for now, just keep watching this new gold chart. As you guys can see. New gold has hit a negative trend, and we are touching $11 as a key area of support. Um, <clears throat> it could break it. Depends on what we see gold do and what we see the dollar do uh, tomorrow, but I do think dollar will continue to strengthen. Gold will probably weaken along with silver, and therefore gold and silver stocks will probably take a beating. Again, if you're trading, you would want to look for buying opportunities instead of flat-out shorting. Um, and if you already hold on to these type of stocks, uh, you might want to hedge your positions with a put option. Maybe hold on to it for a couple days. If it turns out to be profitable, you sell it. If it turns out to be a loss, you sell it. Um, yeah, you know that's how you that's how you probably hedge your position. Now let's move on to Yamana Gold. Ticker symbol is A U Y. A U Y has fallen down a bit. We are in a downtrend. If you guys notice. Um, well, not really a downtrend. It's actually more of a um, consolidating market. You see this range around $12.80 and $11.80. And uh, pretty much 
the markets are, look like they're more in a type of pennant formation than anything else. Um, what what really matters is whether or not you break below this trend line or conform above this trend line. So what you would want to do is you wait for this to break below, and then you could possibly short. I mean, what I mean by a break below, I mean a real confirming signal below this chart. You'd probably want to see a bearish candle close right, trade right below this, and then you would take a short position and hold on to it, put in a tight trailing stop, and make whatever money you can. Now, if it goes above this trend line area, then you would just buy into it and hold and uh, look for a tight trailing stop to keep most of your profits. All right, so that's the type of stuff I see in the gold market as far as gold stocks are concerned. AUY, great opportunity. Either direction it goes. You just want to watch this trend line and see where it breaks out. It will break out in the direction gold takes. So if gold weakens, <clears throat> chances are AUY will weaken. If gold strengthens, chances are AUY will break this pendant formation. So it really, really depends on how the commodities play out. Let's look at the next chart, which is going to be Pan American Silver. And uh, just give it a moment to load. So it's done loading now. And uh, Pan American Silver is sitting at a pretty strong trend. But we aren't getting anywhere near the 40. We are we are experiencing some strong resistance at 38, but we're not getting anywhere near previous uh, Pan American Silver highs, even though silver is trading at some uh, all new, new, relatively uh, new all-time highs. So that does give me a cause for concern right there alone. Another thing that I do want to point out with Pan American Silver is that it did gap up by around 4%. But again, I wouldn't buy into it, mainly because we have some resistance at $39 per share. Um, if silver continues going lower on dollar strength, then obviously you would want you would want to avoid buying into Pan American silver because if you buy if you buy now, uh, you're buying when things are kind of hairy, and uh, you don't know you you really don't have any idea whether or not it will go up or down. But more importantly, you you don't know if it will sustain itself. So you just you you'd want to take um more of a side uh, you, you'd want to want you, you'd want to be on the sidelines and just be an onlooker in this type of position you don't really want to make a trade because <clears throat> again it, silver stocks tend to move in the direction of silver and there's a chance that silver could continue going lower on the dollar index's strength if that happens uh, chances are you know the silver stocks will get hit pretty hard and it could lose some of whatever it made on uh, Monday. Now, if you guys go ahead and look at the five-day chart, great gap up. But again, you know, if you if you see this trend line bro broken, right here, uh, obviously a lot of short, a lot of shorts will come in and start shorting the stock, and a lot of people that bought into it will obviously start saying, st start selling their stock once they see that trend line broken. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when trading Pan American Silver, just watch it. Watch, just watch that trend line very closely. Watch the silver spot very closely. And again, you want to watch the dollar as well. I'm not recommending you guys short the silver stock, <coughs> but but also, but rather to use the silver uh, commodity as a way uh, as a way of measuring whether or not you want to buy the stock or sell the stock. And right now, I would sell the stock for whatever profits you can get and wait for the silver market to continue its upwards trend and right now we can see a pretty decent pullback until silver resumes its upwards trend anyway that does it for me for today if you guys want to use the same charting software that I use just check out the link right below this video if you guys want to keep seeing more of this I suggest you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can get this information on a regular basis Anyway, that does it for me for today. I'll have more for you guys in the coming weeks and months ahead. Take care.